Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We're going to call the regular city council meeting to order and term of quorum is present. Quorum is present. We have a special guest with us tonight for the invocation, Mr. Pinkston. Mayor, council, and city friends, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you tonight for our city leaders gathered today, citizens present uh, here and online, uh, for her wonderful city staff, uh, taxpayers who are gathered here to do uh, the people's business. Uh, I just pray you would lead, bless, guide uh, Mayor JR and the um, wonderful council members who are here. Uh, give them a mind uh, for the work ahead in their agenda this evening, um, a heart uh, to serve the amazing people in our uh, really blessed community, a will to make uh, just decisions and, uh, and to fulfill uh, the mission and um, even the emerging vision that's been given to them. Uh, thank you for the forward look that you're giving our city. Uh, we're grateful for the peace in the room and, the, and across our community, uh, the working together spirit and the progress in building and improving uh, the best little city in South Texas, maybe the galaxy. So bless this meeting. We love you so much, Lord. And, uh, we uh, give ourselves to you, uh, make us useful in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Pinkson. Okay, next up, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Chief Zuniga, will you lead us? Thank you, Chief. Okay, first up we have uh, the consent agenda. Mr. May. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. May. Do we have a second? Second by Ms. Haley. Any discussion? All in favor? Ms. Haley, are you? Uh, okay. I didn't want to pressure you. Okay, all uh, unanimous. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have a public hearing on an application for a special use permit from Chastity Brown Hancock, DBA Essence Acupuncture and Wellness for Therapeutic Massages at 2191 Northwest Military Highway, number 2191, Castle Hills, Texas 7213, more particularly described as Lot 59, Block 9, Castle Hills, Block 208. It is 634, and we're going to open the public hearing. We're gonna close the public hearing at 6.34 and proceed to uh, item 6.2, discussion and possible action on ordinance number 2023-09-12 on an application for a special use permit from Chastity Brown Hancock DBA Essence Acupuncture and Wellness for Therapeutic Massages at 2191 Northwest Military Highway, number 2191, Castle Hills, Texas 7213, more particularly described as lot 59, Block nine, Castle Hills, block 208. Y'all snuck up on me. <laughs> Hi. Mr. Rapley. Uh, Mayor Council, uh, we have the applicants here on the SUP. Uh, this went to zoning last week. It was passed unanimously by the Zoning Commission uh, 5 0. Thank you, Mr. Rapley. Ladies, thank you for being here with us. Uh, Council, do we have any questions for the, the applicants? Do we have a motion? Mr. Joyce. Mr. Mayor, I uh, move that we approve ordinance number 2023-0912 on the application for the special use permit for Chastity Brown Hancock, DBA Essence Acupuncture and Wellness as otherwise stated in agenda item 6.2. Second. That was a motion by Mr. Joyce, a second by Mr. May. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you, council, and thank you all so much. Thank you thank for your you. time. We appreciate it. 
Okay, next we have acknowledgements and presentations. We have some new officers joining us here in Castle Hills. Chief Zuniga. Mayor, council, citizens. Um, we have a, four new employees that uh, I wanted to bring up and uh, introduce them tonight uh, to, to all of y'all. I'm gonna start out with uh, Ms. Leticia uh, Salinas. Uh, she has 15 years of experience with law, as a law enforcement dispatcher. Uh, when she was hired by one of her former employees, she was hired as an administrative assistant. On her first day, she was sent to the police department with some paperwork and was told by the sergeant on duty, congratulations and welcome. You have been moved to the police department to begin your new career as a dispatcher. Leticia previously worked for South Texas as a dispatcher for the Sheriff's Department and the Alice Police Department as a supervisor. She has experience as communications uh, liaison with the emergency management, which was also gained from the city of Alice. Uh, Leticia came to us from the neighboring city of Balcones Heights Police Department, where she was their chief dispatcher. Uh, chief Jahanaro is not too happy with me. Um, Leticia states, uh, being a dispatcher is not an easy job. We answer every emergency line and 911 call, ready to anticipate the needs of the voice on the other end of the call. Some calls are not uh, so bad, and others are from people calling for help on the worst day of their lives. Leticia appreci appreciates the opportunity to work for the City of Castle Hills Police Department and is looking forward to what the future has in store, as well as being eager to bring, uh, to bring on her former department and provide dispatch services to them as well, which is something we're looking at. Please help me welcome Leticia Salim. Uh, next one is Officer Brandon uh, Joseph, who was born and raised in Houston, Texas. Officer Joseph played college basketball at John Brown University in Arkansas uh, for his first two years, and then he played the last two years at Our Lady of the Lake University here in San Antonio. Officer Joseph graduated with a degree in business management and became a college basketball coach at OLLU. Uh, coming from a family full of law enforcement officers, it was always in his heart to become a police officer and serve the people uh, around him. Officer Joseph attended the University of Houston Police Academy, where he became a certified police officer. After graduating from the police academy, Officer Joseph served in the capacity of a police officer with the Northside ISD until discovering Castle Hills PD through Judge McCall. Officer Joseph states uh, he is very excited to be here. Officer Joseph has demonstrated, even through his short tenure, that he is incredibly hardworking, trustworthy, and very motivated to the great job for uh, here for the citizens and the community of the Castle Hills. Please welcome Officer Brandon Joseph. Next officer is Nidia Leandro, uh, who has been a police officer for five years and started with the Castle uh, Hills Police Department in August. Officer Leandro is proud to say that she served in the capacity as an SRO or school resource officer with the Southwest ISD. Officer Leandro was born in Houston, but raised in the Rio Grande Valley and then in San Antonio. Her family and faith are her motivation. Officer Leandro has many hours of training and certification in and is an advanced peace officer through TCO. Other certifications include alert level one training, which I recall we did that back in March at Antonian. Uh, she's an instructor, firearms instructor, and a mental health officer. Officer Leandro was inspired to take this career path because she always felt the need to stand up for what's right and be a part of something bigger. Please help me welcome Officer Nidia Leandro. Officer Ethan Espinosa was born March 15, 1998 in San Diego, California. Uh, he has lived he has lived all around California uh, pretty much most of his life. At an early age, he was uh, shown how to become, this is where I got a little confused. At an early age, he was eager to become a New England Patriots fan. No, I'm just kidding, I added that in there. He was shown how to become a Patriot and be able to give back to his community. Ethan Espinosa enjoyed playing sports, but enjoyed playing baseball growing up. 
all the way through his senior year uh, uh, in high school, uh, he, where he played sports. Towards the end of his high school career, he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. He would become a fourth generation Marine within his family. In 2016, he earned his Eagle, Globe, and Anchor. Ethan Espinosa volunteered uh, to become a Marine infantryman. He would then go on to serve his country overseas in different areas around the globe. He deployed with the 31st Marine Expeditionary, Expeditionary Unit Marine Rotational Force Darwin and Operation Faithful Patrol. During his career with the Marines, he attended multiple leadership and advanced schools. He earned the honorable rank of Sergeant and continued to lead the Marines all the way until June 5th, 2022. After his discharge, he returned uh, to his home in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Uh, there he would become a tow truck driver and construction worker with his true calling, but his true calling was to become a part of law enforcement, just like his stepfather. I had the privilege of meeting his stepfather, who is a California Highway Patrol. He was here to pin his badge at his graduation. That was an honor. Um, already having the intentions of moving to Texas with the majority of those that he served with and uh, lived, lived here in the region, he moved to San Antonio, Texas. Shortly after his move to San Antonio, he joined the prestigious Alamo Area Council of Governments uh, Law Enforcement Academy. He graduated in August of 23 as a commissioned Texas peace officer and swore to protect the and serve the citizens of Castle Hills, uh, Texas. Please help me welcome Ethan Officer Ethan Espinosa. All these folks are 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 great people and, and they're an example of the other ones that we have hopefully coming down the pipe out of the academy here soon. We got two more uh, graduating in October and two more in April. So thank you. Thank you, Chief. Welcome to Castle Hills. Mayor Council, I'd like to say that what was done earlier this year was very helpful to the police department about the increase in salaries and the changing the retirement. I think that immensely helped uh, recruitment over the last few months. And obviously you could see we have new officers and then some in the academy right now. So appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Rappley. Thank you all so much for your service. Uh, next up, we have discussion of possible action on ordinance number 2023-09-12-A, amending chapter 44 of the code of ordinances to add section 44-181 to prohibit parking on Fox Hall Lane from 111 Fox Hall Lane through 115 Fox Hall Lane, Ms. Daines. I move to adopt um, ordinance number 2023-09-12A, amending chapter 44 of the code of ordinance to add section 44-181 to prohibit parking on Fox Hall Lane from 111 to 115 Fox Hall Lane. Thank you, Ms. Daines. Do we have a second? Second by Ms. Haley. Do we have any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous, thank you, council. Uh, next up, we have discussion and possible action on ordinance number 2023-09-12-B by the City of Council of uh, the City of Castle Hills on the Crime Control and Prevention District operating budget for fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2023 and ending December 31st, 2023. Mayor Council, we'll have to table that item due to the agenda styled uh, with 23 there. Um, everything is correct in the backup, but the title there on the agenda has 23 uh, and it's a nine month budget as well. So um, I'm planning for a special meeting later this month. And so we'll take up that item uh, for consideration later this month. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rapley. Uh, next up, we have discussion of possible action by record vote on ordinance number 2023-09-12-C to adopt fiscal year 2024 operating budget for the city of Castle Hills, Mr. Rapley. Mayor, can you uh, cue that presentation up? It's on the, it should be the only one on the screen. I think we're having some technical difficulties, Mr. Ashley. What's that? Um, it's not up here. It's on the um, desktop there. Sorry.
Eso no es.